As more people flock to Austin, the housing market has experienced a huge growth, making the city less and less affordable for some. The same goes for the popular UT housing area, West Campus, which is known for its high prices of student living. With an ever-changing skyline, multiple new luxury apartment complexes are opening in the coming school year, not necessarily offering cheaper apartment prices. I spoke to several students about their thoughts on the cost of living in West Campus today. Recently, the prices have been going up a lot. Uh, basically, like two years ago when I moved here, it was much, much cheaper. And now, because everybody's moving to Austin from like Cali or different places, uh, prices are increasing, in my opinion. And uh, it's becoming less affordable to, to live in those apartments, especially yeah. in West Campus. Um, the housing at UT sucks pretty much because we pay a lot of money and we still have to share a room for the amount we pay. And compared to people that live in like San Antonio or College Station, they're paying like half the price and they get their own room in Oka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like recently I just helped my cousin go around at all these different leasing offices to help him find an apartment. And like from three years ago when I rented my first apartment, it got exponentially more expensive. So it's definitely gone up. Yeah. Yeah, my general feelings about the West Campus housing market is um, it's a little competitive, so it's a bit stressful um, when it comes to signing and being on time and making sure you get everything, especially in accordance with all the other friends that you probably want to live with in a West Campus, and it's a bit too expensive for kind of the delivery on amenities because these buildings are going up way too fast because they're all trying to accommodate so many people trying to move out here. Some students opt to live in Riverside, a generally less expensive area with a high student volume. However, the 15 to 20 minute commute to and from campus can be a deterring factor for some. I had a couple of friends living in Riverside and uh, back before COVID times, it was kind of a hassle to get to UT by bus. But when students are going to be coming back, it's probably going to be cheaper living in Riverside. I'm not sure about bus commute. It's probably still less uncomfortable than living in West Campus, but it's more affordable option. Yeah, I think for me, like I wouldn't go to classes if I lived far away, so I'd definitely pay maybe for a less nicer place, but still be closer to campus rather than move to Riverside or like somewhere far out. Attending UT comes with the challenges of paying rent in a metropolitan city. Especially as the demand for Austin real estate increases, that challenge may continue to be more prevalent for more students, but that remains to be seen. For My Point TV, I'm Tori Duff.